first of all, for people that are watching this video that might not know too much about you, what can you tell us about yourself, about your background, that sort of thing? Uh, first of all, 20 years old, um, from Bayern Munich. I had a uh, thing in the past, everybody talking about injuries. I had, I think, two, uh, like, a little bit bigger of uh, injuries. I lost one and a half years uh, in the last four years. Uh, but I'm, I'm very good, I'm very good uh, uh, right now. Uh, I'm feeling good. My, my knee is uh, um, really, really uh, recovering very, uh, very well. Um, yeah, and playing four for the season, uh, first time, I think on the pro professional level. I think it's, it's a good challenge for me. And I get it uh, with the time. Yeah, now I'm uh, pretty confident in myself. Uh, maybe today was not my best game, but I think in the last couple of games and weeks um, I showed it. Right. What kind of basketball player are you? I think first of all, it's, uh, Medicine and a good shot, and then um, it's everybody, um, all about the team. It's team play, uh, whatever the team needs, like rebounding, uh, helping out uh, in defense, um, yeah, sharing the ball, uh, playing together. That's, I think, my style. Right. Uh, playing basketball, I think that's the best way uh, you can play basketball. Um, if I if I force it too much, it's, it's not going well. So uh, I don't I don't do. It. Can you tell me a little bit about your evolution as a player? Did you grow the, the last few years? Were you always considered um, uh, like a, a small forward who can play some power forward because of your size? I was always uh, more two or three. Uh, in the really young years, I, I was one, two. Um, and now I'm uh, more of a three, four uh, because of my body. Um, when I came here to Munich, I really worked on my body. Uh, that's why I just played with the, uh, on the three then. Um, and this season we have like some injuries on the four, so uh, I got a, uh, I had to help out a little bit, and it really worked out. And yeah, and I think uh, this, this three and four style is, uh, is my thing uh, in Europe, and uh, yeah, I like it. Really. What are some of the things that you need to improve on to reach your full potential as a basketball player? I think there's uh, up and downs. Like I had games like, where we played well. Uh, I have like, good shots. I take my shots, and the next game I don't. I don't do it. I don't know why. Okay, I'm 21. I gotta learn a lot. Um, then one thing is uh, what I really want to work on is my uh, ball handling in the next summer. Um, Last time I worked on my shot, that really helped me uh, this season and the summer uh, for the national team. And I always try from now on or from last summer on to do like one thing really uh, focusing on in the summer. Right. Um, yeah. And I think ball handling um, is really, I struggle sometimes with the ball, which I don't understand by myself, but uh, I never had this in the past, but I got to work on it. Right. How good of a shooter would you consider yourself to be right now? I think I'm a really dangerous shooter. Um, some teams um, in the, in the past, uh, past games, they try to not help for me. Um, that really gets me going, I think. That's really what I like. And then when I get my shots, I always make it. Uh, I think I have a high percentage uh, of shooting. Um, yeah, that's why I, I keep going, I keep shooting, and yeah, I think uh, first, the first thing if I get the ball is to look to the basket, if I have a shot, I shoot it. You were very highly regarded here in Germany at a young age, you probably could have gone to any club. Why did you decide this project that was, at the time, a, a new project? Uh, uh, a lot of points. Um, first point was, um, I had an injury in that that moment and the Munich was really the best uh, medical stuff. It really helped me a lot. Um, I needed like seven, eight months to recover. Um, and what was your injury by the way? I had, I had in the foot uh, like uh, overworking. Right. But that's out. That's uh, never had problems afterwards. So we fixed that. That was the first point. Then uh, Svetislav Village came by the time I decided to go to clubs. Um, and I really watched him in the past, so uh, it was like a really no 
thinking um, I had this one one decision to make and if he comes here to Bayern I wanted to come here and yeah it's a big club um, everybody looks at it like as a child I was a Bayern Munich fan in, uh, in football um, I really love how they how, how they manage everything like, um, it's, it's a German style of managing, I think. That's really what I like in this, in this club. And uh, yeah, everybody's working really good together. That's what I saw when I came here, and I really like it. Right. What, what are the advantages of being affiliated with one of the biggest sporting organizations on the planet, like Bayern Munich? Um, I think it's a responsibility, first of all. Always when you get in gyms, uh, the way we always have uh, pressure, like everybody's coming uh, to the games more than uh, against other teams. That's the first thing, and we wanted to win every game, and we want to win uh, a lot of titles. Everything was possible, and we always keep uh, keep practicing hard, uh, and that's why they brought uh, Sveriges Athletic here. And, yeah. What about in terms of uh, facilities and, um, you know, like you said, medical staff, stuff like that? Um, is there any difference between Bayern and some of the other clubs in Germany or, or around Europe? I think uh, this whole organization is uh, managed uh, maybe, maybe on the highest level, uh, maybe the best, best uh, managed club in, the, in Europe or the world, I don't know. It's really like if you have a problem, um, they're always there. If you if you need something, they're always there. Doesn't matter what. Um, and I I don't hear that from uh, from a lot of clubs. Uh, like in soccer, they really showed uh, a lot of stuff. If something happened to uh, to players, what's not like uh, I don't know if you if you heard of the story. Who know? Uh, he was a, a, a centre back. And like he had really big issues with Brazil, and they really helped him. And he's now working here. So right. Like this story shows how this club works. Right. You decided to enter the draft uh, last year. What was that experience like for you? And what kind of feedback did you get while you were in the draft? Um... Um, first of all, I wanted to test myself uh, where I stand. Uh, if you enter the draft, everybody's looking at you, and everybody knows what your weakness, uh, weaknesses are and that was the first point I really wanted to um, focus on my weaknesses uh, in the summer there was then shooting everybody said hey Paul uh, gotta get uh, like a better shot and now I got it um, that was the first point um, and the second one was I really was injured a lot like in the summer everybody looking at national team uh, European championship and I was out there twice uh, in a row, so um, yeah, I was like, uh, come on teams, I know I can do it, um, and you gotta look uh, look for me. Um, yeah, um, I think last, last year I wasn't ready uh, to go anywhere else, um, yeah, but I think I'm really confident in myself, um, yeah, and I can, I can do it, I think. Did you get any any workouts with teams? Were you able to get any feedback about, from NBA teams about what they thought about you and what they wanted to see you improve on besides your shooting, of course? No, I had no workouts. I had uh, like three or four days off after the season and we had national team. And uh, yeah, Chris Fleming is now with the Denver Nuggets. Um, and we really, uh, with his uh, coaching stuff, we really worked on some stuff. Um, yeah. About from clubs, what, what you hear about your age and everything. Um, everybody told me hey, you gotta get a better shot, and that's what I thought too. So, what, not a real new uh, experience, but uh, that's that's what everybody said. Yeah, that's what I proved. Right. How do you think things will be different this time? Now you're automatically eligible for the draft. There's no pulling out this time. What is it going to be like for you in, in the months of May and June? Obviously, you, your first responsibility is here with the club. You guys are probably going to go deep in the playoffs. But once you're finished there, how, are, how do you see things playing out with the NBA draft? Yeah, we will see. Um, I'm really excited what will happen in the summer. Um, I really to, to wanted to go uh, at one day uh, overseas. I don't know if I got the possibility now or... Uh, next years and I really want want to show myself and I think uh, in the future I'm, uh, I'm, I got yeah, 
I got I got this level of playing basketball. Right. How important is it for you to play in the NBA sometime in your career? Um, how important it is, I don't cry uh, if it doesn't work, but uh, it's really like the biggest t uh, thing for every basketball player. If you have a chance, like a little bit of chance, you have to uh, you have to get it uh, to catch it. Right. So not everybody got uh, got this chance. And I know I have it. Uh, in the future, I don't know if, if it happens uh, this year, but uh, if you have this opportunity, you have to you have to go for it. Right. Probably you've gotten this question a lot, but what was it like this summer? Um, you know, being in the starting five of the German national team, playing in the European Championship, alongside you know um, an international basketball legend like like Dirk Nowitzki. Um. I think um, like playing with a legend like Nowitzki was uh, a great thing. I always watched him uh, in the TV. In, in, in the beginning, it was a little bit weird for me to play really uh, with him uh, in a team and to play pick and roll, pick and pop, everything, and communicate. Uh, like that was your fault, that was my fault, everything. But um, yeah, from a little bit of time, doesn't doesn't really matter uh, who you're playing with. Um, and I think this summer really showed me a lot um, when I played, for example, uh, Batum or some, some guys like that um, on a really high level on my position. I always wanted to compete with those guys and it showed me that I can compete with them. Uh, yes, which really helped me this, this uh, growing confidence, uh, confidence. Right. What was it like just being around him on a day-to-day? -day? What kind of guy is he? Um, did he share any advice with you about, you know, what it's like to try and make the NBA, that kind of thing? No, there was no point. I think uh, is, is not, the, not the person who uh, comes from the first day to you and wants to tell you everything about the whole life. Right. Um, he told me some things in practice. What I, like he watched me, I think, uh, with, the, with the time, and he said me some uh, some things. What I uh, what I got to do better, and what it helped me uh, like with my game. Um, yeah, I think it worked out. Uh, we didn't we didn't make it in the summer. That was really really bad for our team. Uh, for me for me too. I want really to to go on the next round. But I learned a lot. Uh, from him and from the from the coaches, from the team, from the whole tournament. Um, yes, and I really was uh, it was a pleasure to to play for the national team. Watching you today, it was you know you guys were up by twenty, almost thirty, and you're still out there hustling, playing defense, fouling guys on the fast break. Why why is that? Like, the, what is that? What does that tell us about you? Um, that kind of thing. I think that's not about myself, it's about our team, like we are playing like that. If we are up by 20 or by 30, we wanted to get the next step, um, like 35, 40. That's what, uh, what I want and what the whole team wants. Yeah, and if you if you got beaten or something, you have to stop and you have to show your resp responsibility. That's it. Right. We saw you defending all kinds of different guys today, from point guard to power forward. Um, where does that versatility on defense, where does that come from for you? In the past, I've played many positions and I defended a lot of positions. Um, like on the floor, if you switch, that really helped our team in the past, I think. When I play, I can play, I, I think, against uh, many twos or ones. I can hold them uh, in front of me. Uh, and the contest a shot, I think that's a that's a um, big plus for our team. Uh, our force can can switch there and uh, defend there. And I think that's that's fun if you if you always play against the uh, same players. That's maybe kind of boring. Uh, I, I really like it to defend. Like sometimes I wanted to play more against twos in practice. Sometimes I want to compete in the, in the on the glass with the force. Uh, yeah, and it's it's fun. All right. Last question. Um, what have you learned from Coach Pesic? He's a European basketball legend. He's won everything, Euro Leagues, European Championship, World Championships. What is it like being around him every day? 
Um, I, I don't know where, where to start. It's like the whole whole mindset um, I learned here. Like, you get really, really stronger mentally. Um, and the, and the first thing is responsibility. What we always talk about. And I really, that's that's what I learned here. And that's what I learned here in the past. Um, and I think that's what 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 basketball is about. Like one-on-one -on -one defense. And if you got beat or anything, uh, everybody else, then you have to help him as a team. And that's really what we always practice. And yeah, I think the first thing is uh, mindset here. Ten years from um, ten years from now. When you're in practice or in a game, wherever you are, what is the one thing that's going to stick out to you about Coach Pesci? Is it things that you can't really forget that he's drilled into you? Hey, that's that's uh, a lot of things. Uh, many players told stories about him, like um, how he is as a person. Um, it's sometimes really tough, like uh, with, the, with the time you spend uh, in the gym, in the meeting rooms, everything. But I think. For the for the future, he has he has just helps me. Like it's a really tough coach um, to work with, but I think that's that's uh, what he wants. He wants to make his player uh, his players tougher. And I think that's what what I learned. Some some players don't like this, and they don't they don't learn from it. They don't benefit from that. And I think I learned from it and make me uh, strong.